dear students welcome to gtq 2024 in this session we discuss about the some problems from the network analysis see the network analysis is a one of the scoring subject if you put the little efforts try to avoid the simple calculation mistakes in the exam okay now for every question first apply your own ideas then after focus on solution come to the first question in this particular example in this particular example dekhiye what is our requirement kya chahiye aapko power delivered power delivered by voltage source hamesha problem solve karte samay pehle sochiye by using which method we can easily convert the answer क्यों बोलते हो अपना नेटवर्क एनालिसिस में वन फ्लेक्सिबल डिस प्रेजेंट यू कैन गो फॉर एनी मेथड मगर फाइनली आंसर सर दी सेम देखिए ये प्रॉब्लम में होना बोलते हो यू कैन गो फॉर द नोडल एनालिसिस नहीं तो वी कैन अप्लाई द मेश एनालिसिस क्या चाहिए आपको क्वेश्चन में इधर पावर पावर के लिए वॉट आर द रिक्वायरमेंट वोल्टेज एंड करस्पॉन्डिंग करेंट करस्पॉन्डिंग करेंट इन दिस एग्जाम्पल आई एम गोइंग फॉर द मेश एनालिसिस आई एम गोइंग फॉर द मेश एनालिसिस For this example, let us give the name for this one as a loop current. This one is I one, and loop current, loop current. This one is I two, loop current. This one is I three. Now correspond each loop, correspond each loop. Can write the cable equation. Correspond each loop. Can write the cable equation. If write the cable equation for each one here, KVL one. Take either lower potential to higher potential voltage rise. This I one current circulates in the fifty, hundred, and the five hundred. Then what is the total resistance? Total resistance for this one is the six fifty. Six fifty I one. Look here, the hundred ohms is na. Hundred ohms me I one is the downwards, but I two is upwards, opposite direction. Opposite direction means we write this one as minus hundred I two. Here we see in the five hundred I one downwards, but I three is upwards. Minus five hundred I three. This entire equation equated to zero. We got the equation one. Okay, we got the equation one. Now come to loop two. <coughs> okay, correspond to loop two here. Higher potential to lower potential. Forty. Again, it is also higher potential to lower potential. In this hundred ohm resistor, I two and I one, I two I one are in the opposite direction. We can write this as a hundred of I two minus I one. Whenever you are writing equation correspond loop to assumption, K I two should be greater when compared to I one. Again, here also this entire equation is equated to J. Now come to the KVL three. Now correspond this example here. You Now I three circulates in the eight hundred and the five hundred. In this five hundred, I three and I one are in the opposite direction. Opposite means what is the sign is the minus. Now lower potential to higher potential voltage rise. Now we got the three equations. We got three equations. Now by solving these three equations. Can you find out the I one, I two, and I three values? Can you find out I one, I I two, and I three values? But the question is, what should I do? You need the power. You need the power. Power. What is your statement? Power delivered. Power delivered means the current should be leaving from the positive terminal. Current should be leaving from the positive terminal. We need the I S value. We need the I S value. Now this I S is called. We can write this as a I three is the same direction I S. We write this as a I three. What about I two in the opposite direction? Now, by solving these equations, can you find out the I two and I three values? Find out the I two and I three. Then after find out the source current. After finding source current, can you find out the power dissipation corresponding voltage source? What is the voltage source value? How much? Thirty. What is the respect to current? This means I S. Respect to current is I S. Check it out. Now this I S is a point four, and the power is a twelve watts. Dear students, 
every time remember as a in the exam if any lengthy question is given don't attempt that lengthy question at the starting itself kyun mil dekhiye beech mein kuch to bhi simple mistake ho gaya na again you lose the confidence that's why try to attempt this model of questions after completion the easy questions and the moderate questions come to next one uh, question padho ji question padho ek bar so for this example what is the requirement is uh, this v not and i not v not and the i not chaliye first let us simplify the network let us simplify the network now short circuit short circuit means what is the resistance value how much zero resistance of this one is a uh, zero now short circuit and eight ohms both are in the parallel short circuit eight ohms both are in the parallel then what is the equivalent resistance for this parallel combination equivalent resistance of this one equal to zero now you are taking now come to this parallel combination now for this parallel combination 6 and 3 6 and 3 both are connected to the panel 6 and 3 both are in the panel we can write this way r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 if you simplify this one what is the equivalent resistance equal to 2 ohms now let us find out the respect to source current let us find the respect to source current let us find the respect to source current देखिए इधर इन दिस एग्जांपल व्हाट इज द वोल्टेज वैल्यू हाउ मच 4 वोल्टेज इज अ 4 नाउ हाउ दिस 2 ओम्स एंड 2 ओम्स बोथ आर गोइंग इन सीरीज सिंपलीफाई करने से व्हाट आई इक्वल टू 1 एंपियर फॉर दिस एग्जांपल दिस पार्ट इज अ ओपन सर्कुलेटेड ओपन सर्कुलेट मींस द करंट ऑफ दिस पार्ट इक्वल टू 0 द करंट ऑफ दिस पार्ट इक्वल टू 0 नाउ लेट अस फाइंड आउट द आई नॉट टू फाइंड आउट द आई नॉट वैल्यू देखिए इधर जो आई एस करंट है ना डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड द ब्रांच वन एंड ब्रांच टू आई नॉट निकालने के लिए जस्ट यूज अ अपलिकेशन ऑफ करंट डिविजन टेक्निक इफ यू अपलाई करंट डिविजन टेक्निक व्हाट द टोटल करंट इज अ वन देखिए टोटल आई एस करंट इज अ वन अपोजिट रेजिस्टर बाय टोटल रेजिस्टेंस इधर सिंप्लीफाई करने से दिस आई नॉट इज इक्वल टू टू बाई थ्री एम पी एस आई नॉट इज ऑल्सो कम्प्लीटेड वट इज द वन मोर रिक्वायरमेंट इज अ वी नॉट वट इज वन मोर रिक्वायरमेंट इज अ वी नॉट To conclude the V naught, first let us see the voltage across the three ohm resistance. Voltage across the three ohm resistance. Look here, three ohms. Me current, how much is there? Is it two by three? Two by three resistance. How much is there? Three. But the voltage across this part is a two ohms. Then for this example, for this entire part, entire part, can you write the cable equation? If write the cable equation for this one, if you go for the cable equation, look here, lower potential to higher potential. Lower potential or higher potential voltage rise. Now for this example, look at the I naught. Regarding I naught, we already concluded. How much is I naught equal to two by three? Two by three, two by three is the constant. How much is twelve? Now if you multiply these two, what the voltage will be? How much? Eight volts. Two by three multiply the twelve. Is the current zero? Current zero means means in the one ohm resistor, no voltage drop is present. Higher potential to lower potential voltage drop. Higher to lower voltage drop. If I simplify it, then the V naught equal to minus six. V naught equal to minus six. In this example, first you have to understand as a what is the requirement potential difference. क्या चाहिए आपको potential difference between the A and the B. For this example here, loop one and loop two both operate independently. Reason क्या है बोलते हैं here the no return path is present. Return path is not exist. Return path is not exist. Thereby, loop one and loop two both operate independently. क्या चाहिए आपको potential difference between the A and the B. For that one, first let us find out the current of this current of this loop I one. Voltage is how much? Ten. Now five, three, and two. How the all elements are connected? Series. Now what is the total resistance? The total resistance is ten. Current equal to one ampere. देखिए इधर वेर ओवर द करंट इज एंटरिंग देयर इज पॉजिटिव अदर वन इज अ नेगेटिव करंट 1 एंपियर रेजिस्टेंस टू व्हाट द वोल्टेज विल बी 2 वोल्ट्स फॉर दिस वन लूप 1 एंड लूप 2 बोथ ऑपरेट इंडिपेंडेंटली इंडिपेंडेंट मींस नो करंट इज प्रेजेंट इन दिस ब्रांच नो करंट प्रेजेंट इन दिस ब्रांच देखिए इधर भी 20 ऑफ द 5 एंड 5 बोथ आर कनेक्टेड इन द सीरीज कैन यू गेट द करंट ऑफ दिस वन आल्सो 20 बाय 10 देन व्हाट द करंट इक्वल टू 2 एंपियर्स Current equal to two amperes. 
current equal to amperes. Now, where, where all the current is entering, that is positive, to, other one is a negative. That is how much current flowing is a 2 amperes. 2 into 5, voltage will be 10 volts. That is catch I have potential difference between the A and the B. Catch I have potential difference between the A and the B. Now check it. Now A and B se check it, what is the 1 is the 2 volts, 5. Now current germ is for the resistor, ke liye, no voltage drop is present. No voltage drop is present. But the one more voltage is the 10 volts. They either if you start from the 5 volts, sir. Oh, 5 minus plus minus plus means addition. Magar either they plus 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 similar polarity is subtraction. Similar polarity is subtraction. We are trying to find out the net voltage for this one. We are trying to find net voltage for this one. Up here simplify can I say what the VAB is equal to 30 volts. VAB equal to 30 volts. <coughs> In the data itself, across the current source, across the current source voltage was given. Kitanaji, as per given information, as per given information, across the current source voltage kitanaji, 25 volts. Like either example may 5 amperes current is coming here, where all the current is entering, that is positive, other one is a negative. Like 5 resistance 1, voltage kitanaji, 5 volts. Then with help of these two, can you find out the voltage across this uh, 2 ohm resistor? Voltage the 2 ohm resistor give the name as a V2. If you write the cable equation for this one, if you write the cable equation for this one, lower potential to higher potential voltage rise. Higher potential to lower potential. It is also higher potential to lower potential. Simplify can I say V2 kitna either V2 will be equal to 20 volts. V2 will be the 20 volts. Magar question me kya either what is your requirement is the R? What is the requirement is the R? Like either from by knowing this V2 value, can you find out the IX also? Can you find out the IX also? Like either voltage across this one is kitna either 20, resistance kitna either 2. Simplify can I say what current equal to 10 amperes. Like current equal to 10 amperes, current equal to 10 amperes, then what is the voltage across this one is a voltage of this one is a 30 volts. Voltage of 30 volts. Again, if you apply the KSL at this point, okay, if you apply KSL at this point, the okay, example may 5 is the incoming current. Example may 5 is the incoming current. Magar 10 can either outgoing current. Now 5 is the incoming IX simplify can I say what current we got the 10 amperes. 10 amperes outgoing current, 5 is the incoming current. KSL statement can incoming current should be called to outgoing currents. That means what the current of this branch will be 5 amperes. 5 amperes is the incoming current. Now, wherever the current is entering, there is positive, other one is a negative, other one is a negative. Again, for this one, can you write the respect to KVL equation? Can you write the respect to KVL for this one? If you write the KVL equation for this, now KVL2. If you write the KVL2, they either lower potential to higher potential, voltage rise minus 20. Now, lower potential to higher potential, voltage rise. Now, resistance is neither R, current is neither 5, 5 into R. They get higher potential to lower potential voltage drop. Entire equation, entire equation equated to 0. Either, either simplify, can I say, simplify, can I say, what is the unknown in this entire expression is the R. If you simplify this one, then what is the R equal to 2 ohms, R equal to 2 ohms, R equal to 2 ohms. What is the requirement? Magnitude of impedance across the A and the B. Magnitude of impedance across the A and B. Check karlo, by using which technique we can simplify the network. Kaisa network simplify karna hai. Deke example mein dance deke to. Now how this uh, inductor and resistor both are in the series. Here we deke. Resistor and capacitor both are in the series. Magar this entire branch, this entire one both are in the parallel. If two branches are in the parallel SLX sector, now we can use the formula Z1, Z2 by Z1 plus Z2. Can you substitute respective values? Simplify karo. Simplify karne se, we get answer for this one as a, for the parallel combination. Directly I am writing, we get like this. For parallel combination ke liye, we get like this. Parallel combination ke liye, equal notations will be one more. Up, let us simplify further. To simplify further, let us use the application of the, our star delta transformation.
use the application of the star data transformation. Give an any names here. In this example, we are converting delta to equivalent star, delta to equivalent star. To find out the Z1, for this one, to find out the Z1, what is the formula? Product of heads and sides, 1, J1. And uh, sum of the all the impedances. If you add the 1 plus J1 minus J1, this will be cancelled out. If this will cancel out, remaining part is the only one. We got the Z1 value, come to Z2. For Z2, what are the adjacent sides? Minus J1. If you add the all the impedances, what are the total impedances? Are 1. Come to Z3. <coughs> now correspond Z3. A total impedance is 1. Now we got the Z1, Z2, and Z3. Can I apply same procedure? Can I apply same procedure for the other three impedances? Simplify can I say you got the all the impedances Z1, Z2, Z3, Z4, Z5, Z6. Now we can indicate like this. We can indicate like this. Then finally, in this example here, in this example, these two impedances are connected in the series. Again, for this part, these two will be connected in the series. This entire parallel combination connected series to this one, connected series to this one. Together for this one, series combination means these two will be cancelled out. A series combination may minus J1 plus J1, these two will be cancelled out. The remaining part is a branch of pura races, one. A branch of races, two. That means sir, equivalent impedance, equivalent impedance is a two by three. <coughs> that means sir. 0.667 in this example what is our requirement is the average power average power hmm. first note of this question note the question hmm. let's check it out <coughs> let us see the average power consumed in the circuit here the average power means we have to find out the active power other name for the average power is the active power. Where the active power is when correspond to the resistors. Active power then correspond to the resistors in the 8 ohms, 7 ohms and the 5 ohms. We can solve this problem with different approaches. One approach is a, we can find out a complete equivalent impedance. After finding equivalent impedance, we can find out the current. With help of the current, we can find out the directly active power. Our other approach is a, we can find out the current of each branch. From that one in the each element we can find out the power total power equal to we can add the all the respective powers in this example here i am trying to find out the equivalent impedance for this one here the this branch one and branch two both are connected in the branch one branch two, both are connected in the parallel this entire parallel combination connected series this one connected series this one can you find out the respect to z equivalent for this one if I give the name as a Z1, give the name as a Z2, give the name as a Z3. For this one, we can write the equivalent impedance. Equivalent impedance equal to <coughs> we can write like this. Now, if you substitute the respective values in this one, if you substitute the respective values. We can add like this. Then by simplifying this one, by simplifying this one, we can find out the equivalent impedance. After finding equivalent impedance, 
after finding equal impedance try to find out the source current try to find out the source current take either source current equal to we can reduce the source voltage by equivalent impedance source current equal to this source voltage by equivalent impedance here simplify can say we get the magnitude as well as the angle here we simplify can say we get the magnitude as well as the angle finally what are the requirement is the power power equal to simply we can reduce the v i cos theta v i cos theta here the i means corresponding source current corresponding source current Simplify can say we get the magnitude as well as angle. I am giving the hints, do the calculations. Now we get answers like this equivalent impedance, current, and corresponding active power. Other name for the average power is active power. For this example, power dissipation. For this example, total power dissipation is given. For the total power dissipation, how much? 3 kilowatt total power dissipation of 3 kilowatt now in the data itself given this voltmeter reads this voltmeter read is the what is the voltmeter reading is the 1000 what is the requirement is the xl now in this example 30 amperes current coming here it is distributed in the two branches then after how much current will come here again here also 30 amperes we take this as an ideal voltmeter we take as an ideal voltmeter for ideal voltmeter internal resistance will be infinite same 30 amperes flows in this one if you come to total power dissipation the total power dissipation we can write this as a where the power dissipation happens for the resistors in this 2 ohm resistor how much current circulating is a 4 amperes we can write the i square r i square r plus then for this example for this example in this uh, r ohm resistor how much current circulating is a 30 we can add a 30 square, 30 square into R, 30 square into R. <coughs> 30 square into R. Now, in the data itself given, correspond given example, what is about this uh, total power equal to how much? 3000. Now, what about this one is a 32. This is a 900 R. By simplifying this one, we can find out the R value. By simplifying this one, we can find out the R value. Now, what is our requirement? Is the Excel to find out Excel? Voltmeter reading is known. Total current is known. Can you find out the impedance of network? Can you find out the impedance of network? Can you find out this impedance of this entire part? Impedance of this entire part. Impedance of this part give the name as a JDL. Give name as JDL. What is the voltage? How much? Thousand. Voltage is a thousand. In the data it is still given what the current of this one is a 30 amperes current is 30 amperes now for this general if you write the expansion if you write the expansion we can reduce with the r square and the xl square r square plus xl square r square and the xl square now from this one we got the r value is known r value is calculated from this one by simplifying this one we can find out the xl value by simplifying this one, we can find out a respect to XL value. In this one, what is our requirement is the bandwidth, resonant frequency, quality factor and the damping ratio. To save the time in the objective questions, try to remember the, all the respect to formulas. If you remember the formulas, we can save the time in the exam. Revision karte samay, Try to do revision simultaneously for series resonance formulas and the parallel resonance formulas. Kyumalto, dono ke beech mein very much similarities are present in the formulas. Dekhe example mein kya chahiye, what the first requirement is the bandwidth. Now, either unit ke upar bhi focus kariye either. Unit was given in the radians per second. Bandwidth for series circuit R by L. R by L. Now here in this example, meaning of R is the equivalent resistance. What is the equivalent resistance is the 6 plus 3, total resistance will be 9 ohms. Now inductance value, 100, come to second one. Now second one again our requirement is resonant frequency. Resonant frequency, we can write this in omega equal 1 by root LC. Omega equal 1 by root LC.
now capacitor value was given as a 50 picofarad. But the third one is the no quality factor. Okay, first step you get the bandwidth, second step you get the resonant frequency. What the quality factor called resonant frequency by bandwidth? Resonant frequency by bandwidth. What the last requirement is the damping ratio? Damping ratio corresponds to series circuit. Damping ratio corresponds to series circuit. Now, by knowing the quality factor, you can find out damping ratio. Damping ratio equal you can write it as 1 by 2 cube. Damping ratio equal 1 by 2 cube. What is our requirement? Short circuit current. Short circuit current with respect to A and the B. Short circuit current with respect to A and the B. ISC. <coughs> For this example, node voltage V1, node voltage V2. Now ground potential, what is ground potential equal to 0? Then the potential at this point, give the name as V3, ground potential is equal to 0. Potential difference between V1 and ground, potential difference between V1 and ground equal to 2 volts. With respect to ground potential, what is the polarity for this one is a plus. V1 is 2, they give either V3 equal to either 0. Either V2 nikal nikale, can you write a KCL equation? Either V2 nikal nikale, can you write the respect to KCL equation? If you write the KCL equation for this one, if you write the KCL equation for this one, now correspond this example either S equals to voltage across this entire part is V2. V2 and VA both are the same. For this example, this V2 and VA both are the same. If you write the KCL equation, take either plus plus subtraction VA minus 2VA. They can either be plus plus with respect to ground potential, either polarity can either plus. No plus plus again subtraction minus 2. Now what is the resistance of this one is a 2 ohms. Resistance is a 2 ohms. And for this one we write the VA by 2. Whatever this one is a potential difference. Potential difference again it is also VA by 2. If you simplify this entire expression. Simplify karo. Simplify karna is a because the VA is equal to 2 volts, VA equal to 2 volts. Magar, what is our requirement of the short circuit current? What is our requirement of the short circuit current? VA is a 2, VA is a 2, resistance will get either 2 ohms. Voltage 2, resistance 2. Then V by A ratio, V by ratio, but the current of this one is a 1 ampere. Current of this one is a 1 ampere. Now let us see the current of this part also. Let us find out the current of this part also. Give the name as I1 current. Give the name as I1 current. <coughs> For this example, this I1 equal to, we can write this as a, it equals to plus plus subtraction. Your V1 value is either 2 volts, V1 also 2 volts. Your resistance value is either 1. Simplify can I say, again we get the I1 also equal to 1 ampere. I1 also equal to 1 ampere. Okay, a branch current pata hai, I1 pata hai. Can you apply the KCL at this point? These are incoming currents. Okay, either one is the incoming current, one is the incoming current. ISC is the outgoing current. ISC is the outgoing current. What is ISC equal to 2 amperes. Short circuit current is the 2 amperes. What is the requirement? Power delivered to the each load register. At what condition? Maximum power transfer, maximum power transfer to the load. For this one, first let us replace the entire complex network by a single equivalent circuit. Single equivalent circuit means honorable to of Thevenin's theorem, right, or Northern theorem, any theorem can be applied. If I go for Thevenin's theorem, if I go for Thevenin's theorem for this one, <coughs> in the case one, case one, let us find out the V Thevenin's.
case one let us find out the v terminals now this entire part this entire load is a disconnected entire load is a disconnected take a for this one if i go for nodal analysis this part is open circuited open circuit although your current is either zero now voltage across this part is a vth with respect to ground potential what the polarity is a plus by kcl plus plus subtraction what about the one ampere is the incoming current one ampere is the incoming current sum of outgoing current equal sum of incoming currents here simplify current say simplify current say we can find out the v terminals check or either simplify current say we get the v terminals is equal 54 volts v terminals is equal 54 volts now come to case 2 case 2 now let us find out the r terminals To find out the R thickness, what the provisor deactivate all the independent sources. This voltage source, short circuit, and current source is the open circuit. Voltage source, short circuit, and current source is the open circuit. <coughs> deactivate all the independent sources. Now we have to find out the equivalent resistance. We have to find out the R thickness with respect to load. With respect to load. If you are looking from these two points, from opposite side, you have to reduce the network. From opposite side, you have to reduce the network. Take either how these two are connected in the parallel. This parallel combination connected series to the 12. We get the R thickness. We get the R thickness is equal to 30 ohms. We get R thickness is equal to 30 ohms. R thickness is known. Now V thickness is also known. Now, what is the condition for the maximum power? What is the condition for this maximum power is this uh, ZL equal to RL. ZL equal to RL. What is the condition for maximum power is a ZL equal to R thickness. ZL equal to R thickness. Take an example may what the R thickness value how much here? 30 ohms. R thickness is 30 ohms. But your calculation करने के लिए what is your requirement is the RL क्या चाहिए आपको RL देखिए example में how this RL RL by two and RL by three all are connected to the panel all are in the panel can you find out the <coughs> can you find out the equivalent impedance for this one we can write this this ZL equal to one by All the three branches, three branches are connected to the parallel. For this parallel combination, can you find out equivalent impedance? If you simplify this one, we get this ZL equal to RL by 6. Get the ZL equal to RL by 6. Now we already know ZL value. ZL equal to, we can write the RL by 6, 30. Then for this example, what about is RL? RL is equal to 180 ohms. RL equal to 180 ohms. Then for this example, whenever this ZL, whenever this ZL and R thickness both are exactly equal, the total source voltage, the total source voltage will be equally distributed in the two resistors. As per maximum power transfer theorem, it is also 30 ohms. The total voltage will be equally distributed. What is the total voltage? How much? 54. Then voltage across this one, voltage across this one is 27. That means across the load, across the load voltage will be 27. Then for this example, for this example, across the load, across the load, we are getting the voltage, load voltage, load voltage of this one is 27. 
regarding rl we already calculated regarding rl already calculated what is the rl equal to 180 rl equal to 180 ohms now what is the requirement power dissipation correct power dissipation correspond to each resistor now we can write this as a what is the voltage across all the branches are the same what is the voltage is the 27 now correspond to second branch again the voltage is same voltage is same but the corresponding resistance is rl by 2 what is the rl is the 180 Correspond third branch is uh, this RL by 3, RL by 3. By simplifying this one, we get the P1, P2, and P3. What is our requirement is the maximum power in the load resistor. They either to get the maximum power first we have to replace the entire complex network by single equivalent circuit single equivalent circuit ke liye hona bolo to, we can go for thevenin theorem to Northern theorem any theorem can be applied in this example i am replacing entire complex network by thevenin equivalent circuit in the thevenin equivalent circuit to get v thevenin and r thevenin simultaneously now we can go for this approach for this entire complex network across the AB terminals, assume one source, assume one source of the V. This voltage source delivers, this voltage source delivers the current of the I. They get this entire complex network replaced by single equivalent circuit across the AB, assume one voltage source. Assume one voltage source. For this one, if you write the respect to current equation, if you write the respect to current equation, plus plus subtraction. If you rearrange the equation, now this is a standard equation. The standard equation corresponds to this method. The main advantage of this method is a simultaneously we get the both V thevenins and the R thevenins. Let us apply this approach for our given network. Now correspond to our method here across the AB, across the AB is one voltage source. It is delivering current to the I. For this example, the dependent source value depends on the depends on the V1. Like example, may Joe 6 volts and distribute between the 10 and the 20. 10 and the 20. Can you apply the voltage division technique? For these two resistors, total voltage is a 20, similar resistor. We are applying the voltage division technique. We are simplify karne se, simplify karne se, we get the V1 is equal to 4 volts. We get the V1 equal to 4 volts. If V1 equal to 4, then what about this voltage source value 4 and 5, 20 volts. 4 and 5, 20 volts. Can you write a KVL equation for this one? Can you go for a KVL equation for this one? If you write the KVL equation for this one, they can either lower potential to higher potential voltage rise jo i hai na i circulates in the 20 higher potential to lower potential voltage drop dekhe <coughs> can you compare this in our standard equation standard equation ke method ke liye a method ke liye now this is a standard equation then what is v thevenin is equal to 20 v thevenin is equal to 20 then what are the R thevenins? R thevenins is also equal to 20. Now the main advantage is a simultaneously got both V thevenins and the R thevenins. Now what is the condition for maximum power? The condition for this maximum power is a RL equal to R thevenins. RL equal to R thevenins. That is equal to 20 ohms. Finally, our requirement is a maximum power for maximum power. 
v square by 4 r v square by 4 r by simplifying this one 5 marks in the theorems Thevenin's theorem and maximum power transfer theorem are very important in this one what is the requirement da by dt of inductor and dv by dt of the capacitor at what instant we need this one at t equal to 0 plus we need this one at t equal to 0 plus to find out the these two values at 0 plus first to focus on the initial values first to focus with respect to initial values now for this example at t equal 0 minus correspond to this example at t equal 0 minus switch was the open 0 seconds it is a closed 0 minus it was open when the switch was open no source was connected to the elements no source was connected if no source was connected, initial voltage, initial voltage for the capacitor is a 0. And the initial current, initial current correspond to inductor is also 0. Now let us develop the equivalent circuit. Now let us develop the equivalent circuit at t equal to 0 plus. For this t equal to 0 plus, t equal to 0 plus for the inductor nature, it does not allow sudden change of current. Now here also again the current equal to 0. Capacitor does not allow sudden change of the voltage. Voltage also 0. Take either at 0 plus my switch is a closed. In this example at t equal 0 plus the switch is a closed. Now capacitor voltage equal 0. Voltage equal 0 is a property of the short circuit. Voltage equal 0 is a property of the short circuit. Capacitor position is replaced by the short circuit. Now come to inductor. Now inductor current equal 0. Current 0 means it is indicated as an open circuit. It is indicated as an open circuit. Hmm. Then in this example, in this example here, the current of this path give the name for this as an IC. Current in the capacitor is an IC. It is open circuited, open circuit means current of this one equal to 0. Then the entire current, entire current flows in this path only. We can write the IC equal to. Then how the all elements 2, 3 and 5 are connected in the series. If you simplify this one, if you simplify this one, then what the IC is equal to 5. IC equal to 5. What is the expansion for the IC? IC equal we can write it in CDV by DT. CDV by DT. In the data itself, capacitance value is given. But given capacitance value, how much? 2 farad. Given capacitance is the 2 farad. 5 by C, capacitance value is a 2 farad. Then what is the answer for this? 2.5. 2.5 volts per second. come to the d a1 by dt for that one let us find out the voltage across the inductor let us find out the voltage across the inductor how this inductor indicates an open circuit if it is open circuited in the 6 ohms no voltage drop is present then voltage across this one voltage across both are the same then for this example this vl equal to how much current flowing in this one is a 5 amperes what about the resistance is also 5 what is the expansion for this VL? VL equal we can add L D A by DT. L D A by DT. In the data itself, inductance value is given. But given inductance is a 0.5. Given this inductance is a 0.5. If you simplify this one, we get the 50 ampere per second. 50 ampere per second. For this example, what is the requirement current in the inductor? What is the requirement current in the inductor at t equal to 2.5 seconds? In this example, at t equal to in this example, before operating switch, it was current position 1. 0 seconds it is shifted to position 2. To find out the current in the inductor at t equal to 2.5 seconds, we need a complete current response. We need a complete current response. To get the complete current response, we can add the general equation. We 
वी कैन रेड यूज जनरल इक्वेशन नो दिस करंट रेस्पॉन्स दिस करंट रेस्पॉन्स वी आर कंक्लूडिंग करस्पॉन्ड टू टी ग्रेटर देन जीरो आफ्टर ऑपरेटिंग द स्विच वी आर फाइंड द करंट रेस्पॉन्स बिकॉज वी नीड द करंट वैल्यू एट टी इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट फाइव सेकेंड्स फर्स्ट लेट एस फाइंड आउट द इनशियल करंट लेट एस फाइंड आउट द इनशियल करंट to find out the initial current let us see the equivalent circuit let us see this equivalent circuit at t equal to let us see the equivalent circuit at t equal to 0 minus in this example 0 minus means previously it was current position 1 it was current position 1 now 0 minus is a steady state condition before operating the switch Under steady state condition, how do you indicate inductor as a short circuit? Now, in this example, how the actual current circulates? How the actual current circulates in the? In this example, how the actual current circulates in the downwards? I of zero minus I of zero minus equal to forty by. If you simplify for current equal to how much? Four amperes. Now, what is the inductor nature? It does not allow sudden change of current and does not allow sudden change of direction also. At I of zero plus also we get the same direction. What direction will be the downwards? And magnitude is also same. Magnitude is also same. I of zero plus completed. Now come to I of infinite. Then for this example, a t equal to infinite. T equal to infinite is a steady state condition after operating the switch. After operating the switch means the switch is a closed downwards. Switch is a closed downwards. For this one, what the voltage is a two hundred, resistance is a three. Under steady state condition, T equal to infinity is a steady state condition after operating the switch. After operating the switch. Now T equal to infinity is a steady state condition after operating the switch. Now if you come to the actual current direction for this one, I of infinite, current goes from higher potential to lower potential. What the voltage is? If you simplify this one, if you simplify this one, this I of infinite, or the I of infinite is equal to forty amperes. I of zero plus completed, and I of infinite is also completed. Now let us substitute in this uh, general formula. Let us substitute in the general formula. But general formula can uh, substitute. करते समय important point is the direction तोरा ध्यान से चेक कर लो. Initial current, final current का direction ध्यान से चेक कर लो. देखो जी, in this example, zero minus acting downwards. Zero plus also downwards. Why? Because the inductor does not allow sudden change of current direction. But if I of infinite, how is it? Upwards. That's why the general equation like this. We should give the opposite sign for the initial and the final current. We should give the opposite sign for the initial and final current. We write the minus four. But the I of infinite, I of infinite is a forty. This is the response corresponding to T greater than zero. T greater than zero. But after operating the switch. देखिए एग्जांपल में आर बोले तो इक्वल एंड रेजिस्टेंस एग्जांपल में आर बोले तो इक्वल एंड रेजिस्टेंस देखो जी व्हेन द स्विच इज कनेक्ट पोजीशन टू हाउ द 3 एंड 2 बोथ आर कनेक्टेड सीरीज 3 एंड 2 बोथ आर कनेक्टेड सीरीज व्हाट इज इक्वल एंड रेजिस्टेंस इज द 5 कम टू इंडक्टेंस इधर इंडक्टेंस वैल्यू कितना इधर 6 प्लस आई ऑफ इंफिनिटी इज 40 देखिए इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज द डायरेक्शंस जनरली मेनी ऑफ देम डू मिस्टेक इन द डायरेक्शंस ओनली फोकस इन डायरेक्शन केयरफुल देखो जी आपको करंट रिस्पॉन्स मिल गया क्वेश्चन में क्या पूछ रहे हैं आपको इज आस्किंग द करंट वैल्यू करंट वैल्यू एट्टी इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट फाइव सेकेंड्स देखिए जनरल इक्वेशन में जनरल इक्वेशन में आप इधर टी को टू पॉइंट फाइव सेकेंड्स पुट कर सकते हैं ना सबसे टी इक्वल टू पॉइंट फाइव सेकेंड सिंप्लीफाइड चेक कर लो क्या चाहिए आपको कंप्लीट रेस्पॉन्स क्या चाहिए आपको कंप्लीट रेस्पॉन्स नो कंप्लीट करंट रेस्पॉन्स आई वैल्यू चलिए इधर भी फर्स्ट लेटेस्ट फाइंड आउट द रेस्पेक्ट टू इनिशियल वैल्यूज 
let us find respect to initial values for that one let us see the equivalent set now either constant element either capacitor hamesha inductor hai to focus on the initial current capacitor hai to focus on initial voltage capacitor will focus on initial voltage dekho ji zero minus example mein as per given switch position zero minus mein switch kaisa idhar zero minus mein switch was the closed zero minus meaning kya hai steady state condition after operating the switch After operating the switch. Now steady state बोले तो under steady state condition DC source के लिए capacitor indicated as a open circuit. Capacitor is indicated as a open circuit. ठीक है इधर what is the requirement is the इनिशियल वोल्टेज पर कैपेसिटर क्या चाहिए जी पीरियड में इनिशियल वोल्टेज पर द कैपेसिटर चलिए इधर वी से निकालने के लिए कैन आई कैन वी यूज द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द नोडल एनालिसिस नोडल एनालिसिस यूज कर सकते हैं देखो जी इन द पैरेलल सर्किट वोल्टेज अक्रॉस ऑल द ब्रांचेस सेम द पैरेलल सर्किट वोल्टेज अक्रॉस ऑल द ब्रांचेस सेम नो दिस पॉइंट इज अ ग्राउंड ठीक है विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ग्राउंड इधर पोलराइटी क्या है इधर प्लस नौ देखिए इधर प्लस प्लस सप्रैक्शन नौ इधर रेजिस्टेंस वाले कितने इधर ट्वेंटी ओम्स रेजिस्टेंस इधर ट्वेंटी ओम्स नौ फॉर दिस एग्जांपल व्हाट अबाउट द वीसी ऑफ़ जीरो माइनस हाउ तो फाइव एंड टू फाइव एंड थ्री बोथ आर करेक्ट इन द सीरीज इक्वल टू पॉइंट नाइन आई इक्वल पॉइंट नाइन आई नौ इन दिस कम तो आई वैल्यू देखिए एग्जांपल में आई बोले तो करंट ऑफ़ दिस ब्रांच करंट ऑफ़ दिस ब्रांच नो वोल्टेज हाउ मच वीसी वीसी ऑफ़ जीरो माइनस बाय हाउ तो फाइव एंड थ्री बोथ आर कनेक्टेड इन द सीरीज देखिए इधर जो आई वैल्यू है ना आई वैल्यू इधर पुट कर सकते हैं ना सिंपलीफाई करो सिंपलीफाई करो, फाइंड आउट द वीसी वैल्यू। चेक करो जी, इधर सिंपलीफाई करने से, ये गड़ा वीसी इक्वल एटी वोल्ट्स। ये गड़ा वीसी इक्वल एटी वोल्ट्स। इंशियल वोल्टेज आ गया। मगर क्या चाहिए आपको? आई ऑफ टी, कंप्लीट रेस्पॉन्स, कंप्लीट रेस्पॉन्स। देखो जी, एटी इक्वल जीरो सेकंड आंसर थोड़ा आसानी से कंक्लूड करने के लिए कैन यूज एप्लीकेशन लैपलस कैन यूज एप्लीकेशन लैपलस वन बाय सीएस देखिए इधर करस्पॉन्स एग्जांपल के पास के लिए व्हाट आर द पोलाइडिस प्लस एंड द माइनस लैपलस में इंडिकेट करते समय पोलाइडिस के ऊपर बहुत ध्यान रखिए के पास इधर डज नॉट एलोस सडन चेंज ऑफ वोल्टेज एंड � जो पोलाइडिस है ना सेम पोलाइडिस सर इंडिकेटेड है यार कैपेसिटीज़ वाले कितने इधर पॉइंट फाइव टू बाय एस इनिशियल वोल्टेज और इनिशियल वोल्टेज इधर एटी इनिशियल वोल्टेज इधर एटी Can you indicate like this sir, we converted, we converted into the S domain, we converted into the S domain. Take it there, if you apply the, if you apply the KSL at this point, what KSL statement incoming current should be called outgoing current. For this example here, I of S is a outgoing current. I of S is a outgoing current. What about this is a incoming current, incoming current. Then what are the remaining current of this one? Remaining current this is a 0.1 IS. Incoming current should be called outgoing currents. 
with help of the KCL we are concluding we are concluding here current of this path then can you write the cable in this example here can you write the cable equation for this entire outer loop can you write the cable equation for this entire outer loop for this outer loop if you write the cable equation देखो जी आउटर लूप के लिए इफ रेड द रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस केबल इक्वेशन देखिए एग्जांपल में लोअर पोटेंशियल और हायर पोटेंशियल वोल्टेज राइज देखिए कैपेसिटिव रिएक्टेंस कितना है इधर 2/s करंट कितना फ्लो रहा है इधर 0.1 i नाउ हाउ दिस 5 एंड 3 बोथ आर कनेक्टेड इन द सीरीज 8 8 i of s <coughs> now in this entire equation in the entire equation pura rearrange karo rearrange karne se i of s separate kar sakte na simplify karo simplify karne se i of s separate kar sakte na then after can you apply the use the application partial fractions use the partial fractions at the end apply the inverse laplace at the end apply the inverse laplace okay i am giving the all the hints can you do the next step apply the correspond to given example here initially s1 s2 s1 s2 are open for the long time open for long time then after 80 equal 0 seconds the s1 is closed at that instant what s2 was s2 is a open at t equal 0 seconds only s1 is closed s2 is open magar at t equal 2 seconds s2 is also closed then what is the requirement current value what is the requirement is a current we need the current current at t equal to 3 seconds at t equal 3 seconds for this one if you develop the equivalent circuit at t equal 0 minus if you develop the equivalent circuit at t equal to 0 minus Now corresponds example here at t equal zero minus we can conclude as a no switch was operated s1 is to both are the open s1 is both are the open because at zero seconds only s1 is a closed and at t equal two seconds s2 is a closed that means we can conclude as a initial current initial current correspond to inductor is a zero initial current correspond to inductor inductor is a zero. then here let us see the current response then let us see the current response for 0 to 2 seconds interval 0 to 2 seconds interval what are the initial current for this one is a at 0 minus and 0 plus initial currents are the same for this example <coughs> when or the s1 is closed source connected to inductor when source connected what are the action of inductor will be charging for charging inductor for charging inductor current response is exponential rise directly i am getting simplified form current response is exponential rise magar jo equation hai na this equation is valid provided initial current equal zero in this one we already concluded initial current equal zero now for this 0 uh, to 2 seconds interval 0 to 2 seconds interval here only s1 is the operated for this one here only s1 is operated only s1 switch is operated for this one what is the voltage value what is the voltage how much 10 voltage 10 come to the resistance meaning of resistance is equal to resistance if only s1 is operated how the 2 and 3 both are connected in the series 2 and 3 in the series what is the equal to resistance is 5 here the equal to resistance 5 inductance for this example what the inductance equal to 1 inductance equal to 1 now we got the current response for 0 to 2 seconds interval but our requirement is a response correspond to at what time t equal 3 seconds t equal 3 seconds ke liye first let us find out the complete response for t greater than 2 seconds t greater than 2 seconds as per the given switch positions given switch positions For t greater than two second means S one S two both are the operated. Here the S one S two both are the operated. Here the S one S two both are the operated. But in this example, in this particular example, 
Now, whenever the S2 is operated, whenever the S2 is operated at that instant, some initial current is exist. Because before operating S2, previously already S1 was operated, previously already S1 was operated. There was some initial current is exist. Whenever this initial current is exist, whenever this initial current is exist, then we write the general equation as a When all the initial value is there, then we go for general equation. Then let us do some modifications. Let us do some modifications general equation. In this one, when all the S2 is operated, when all this S2 is operated, that equalization changes. S2 is closed, equalization changes. When all the equalization changes, current value changes. Current value changes means new transients are developed in the network. New transients are developed in the network. New transients are developed. Thereby here I am writing this response correspond to S2 switch. I am writing this response correspond to S2 switch. Now correspond to S2 switch, what are the initial current is a I of 2 seconds. Because at t equal 2 seconds only S2 is operated. After operating S2, the resistance also changes. That's a new equivalent resistance, I named it as R dash. And uh, if you are writing response correspond to S2, that S2 response valued after 2 seconds. After 2 seconds, some delay time is a present. The delay time is subtracted from the total time. Delay time is subtracted from total time. Total time is a t, t minus 2, t minus 2. Uh, take a i of 2 seconds. First let us find out i of 2 seconds. To find out i of 2 seconds, we can use the previous current response. To find out the current value at t equal to 2 seconds, we can use the previous current response. Take a, if you substitute the respective values. t equal to 2, t equal to. If you simplify this one, if you simplify this one, approximately, i of 2 seconds is approximately equal to 2 amperes, not exactly, approximately, approximately we get the 2. Now, i of 2 seconds completed. What is the one more requirement? i of infinite. For this i of infinite, let us develop the equivalent circuit. Let us develop the equivalent circuit at t equal to infinite, at t equal to infinite. In this example, t equal to infinite means s1, s2 both are the operated. s1, s2 both are the operated. If s1, s2 both are the operated, when s2 is operated, short circuit, short circuit connected across the 3 ohms. But the equalization, this part becomes a 0. Only 2 ohms present, only 2 ohms present. Under steady state condition, how to indicate inductor as a short circuit? Now, t equal to infinite is a steady state condition after operating the switch. Here both switches are the operated, both switches are the operated. Now 2 ohms, whatever the 3 ohms is becomes a 0 because short circuit 3 ohms both are in the parallel. What is the inductor replaced by short circuit? That inductor replaced by the short circuit, I of infinite. Can you find out the respect to I of infinite? 10 by 2, 10 by 2 is equal to 5 amperes, 10 by 2 equal to 5 amperes. Now, in this example here, in this example, can you substitute respect to values? It is approximately, not exactly, approximately equal to 2 amperes. What about this I of infinite? What about this I of infinite is a 5 amperes. Meaning of R dash is a, after operating the both switches, you have to indicate the equivalent resistance. Because our response corresponds T greater than 2 seconds. After operating S1, S2 both, what the resistance will be? Only how much? 2 ohms. Resistance is a 2 ohms. Now inductance value 6. You can write T minus 2. T minus 2 plus I of infinite. What is the I of infinite equal to 5? I of infinite equal to 5. Now we got a complete current response. Now we got a complete current response. In this complete current response, can you put the T equal to 3 seconds? Because the question is asking the current value at T equal to 3 seconds. Dear students, try to do analysis this model of questions very carefully. If you do any simple calculation mistakes in the steps, entire solution changes. Try to pay more attention, especially whenever you are solving the transient questions in the two port network questions. In this example, what is our requirement is the voltage ratio V2 by V1, V2 by V1. If you observe the current directions, if you observe current directions, 
if you apply kcl at this point i not is incoming current now it is a outgoing current then what is the current of this one is a 0.5 i not 0.5 i not <clears throat> now for this example if you write the kvl equation if you write the kvl equation for this outer loop for this entire outer loop let us write the kvl equation if you write the kvl equation for this one by kvl now here lower potential to higher potential voltage rise v1 okay in the 2 ohm resistor in the 2 ohm resistor what current circulating is a i not what the current circulating is a i not in the 3 ohm resistor what the current of this one is a 0.5 0.5 means we read the 1.5 i not what about this one higher potential to lower potential voltage drop what about this one is a in this 4 ohm resistor also how much current circuit is a 0.5 i not if you multiply these two we can reduce by 2 i not 2 i not <coughs> now what is the requirement is a voltage ratio now in this one to get the voltage ratio we have to eliminate the i not we have to eliminate i not for this example voltage across this part voltage across this one both are the same in this 4 ohm resistor how much current circulating is a 0.5 i not then we can convert as a V2 equal to 4 into 0.5 I0. Either simplify can I say we get the 2 I0. That means for this example, for this example, point 0.5 I0. <coughs> this V2 replaced by V2 replaced by its equivalent value. What is the equivalent value for this one is a 2 I0? If you substitute here. Now from this one, if you simplify, we get this V1. V1 is equal to, we get this one as a 17.5. I not. What is our requirement is a V2 by V1. Catch I up V2 by V1. Regarding V2, we already concluded. What is V2 equal to how much? V2 equal to 2 I not. V2 equal to 2 I not. What about this V1 is equal to 17.5, 17.5 I0. If you simplify this one, you get the 2 by 17.5, 2 by 17.5. For this example, what is our requirement is a V1 and V2. For this example, what is requirement V1 and V2. For this complex network, for complex network, already Y parameters are given, already Y parameters are given. Okay, for this example, voltage at this point, okay, voltage at this point is a V1. And uh, voltage at this point, voltage at this point is a V2. Voltage at this point is a V2. If you apply the KCL at this point, in the data itself given, what is the IE equal to 1 ampere? For this one, what is the IE equal to 1 ampere? <coughs> if you apply the KCL here, now here the 1 is the incoming current. Here the one is the incoming current. For this example, we read this as a V1 by 2. <coughs> V1 by 2, outgoing. What about this I1 is also outgoing. With respect to ground, polarity of this one is a plus. What is the polarity of this one also? Plus. Now plus plus, similar polarity is subtraction. Now we got the equation one. <coughs> we got the equation one. Now come to second equation. Now again, let us write the KCL. Let us write the KCL in the output side. Write the KCL in the output side. Now for this output side, I2 is the outgoing current. <coughs> I2 is outgoing current. Now V2 by 1. Voltage across this branch is the V2. Again for this one, we write this one plus plus V2 minus V1. Subtraction. What the resistance is the 1 by 2. This entire equation equated to 0. Now we got the two equations. <coughs> now what is our requirement in the given example is asking the V1 and V2 values. What is the requirement V1 and V2 values? Magar, aap to, in these two equations, total four unknowns are there. I1, I2, V1 and V2. Here I1, I2 eliminate karne ke liye concentrate on the given data. Deke, in the data itself, Y parameters are given. 
now for this one what is standard equation for this i1 is the not the standard equation correspond to the y parameters for this example we can write this, this i1 equal to y11 y11 is a 2 this y12 y12 is a equation 3 <coughs> Can you substitute that equation 3 in this equation 1? Now similarly, <coughs> now for this I2, for I2 standard equation, they either I2 ke liye standard equation ke either in the data itself given this y parameters for the other two port network 2v1 and the 2v2 equation 4 can you substitute this equation 4 in this uh, equation 2 together in place of i1 in place of i1 we can reduce as a now similarly here i2 replaced by i2 uh, i2 replaced by this equation 4 entire equation equal to 0. Then finally by solving these two equations, by solving these two equations, this equation and this equation, we can find out the v1 and the v2 values. Solve these two equations by simplifying this one, we get the v1 equal to 2 by 9 and v2 equal to 0. We get the v2 equal to 0. <coughs> Now for this example, what is our requirement is the y parameters, what is requirement is the y parameters. Okay, especially in the two port network topic uh, for some of the questions, if you go for elimination process, we can save the time in the exam. That means according to given options, if you solve the problem, we can save the time in the exam. Okay, in this example, he is asking the, all the y parameters, all the respect to y parameters he is asking. y11, y12, <coughs> y21 and the y22. Now in this example here, no need to find out the all the four parameters. No need to find out all four parameters. If you go for the elimination process, only by finding at least one parameter or two parameters, we can say the answer. Actually, checking in this example by finding which one we can conclude the answer easy way. <coughs> if you verify the y12 position, okay, y12 position here is either 2, minus 2 by 3, minus 2 by 3. Same value is repeated here. Same value repeated either. <coughs> Come to the y21. Y21 we take either 2, take either kitna either 0, either be 0, same value repeated again. Y22 to the key. Y22 to kill 8 by 3, this is the key, it is also 8 by 3, same value repeated. Y11 the key. Take a y1 kill here the all the y parameters are the 0. Now here y11 either kitna minus 2 by 3, either kitna 8 by 3, either kitna 2. Up here to the answer they get to in the given options, in the given options y11 ke liye no repeated value is the present. That means in this particular example, in this particular example, only by finding y11, only by finding y11, we can conclude the our required answer. We can conclude our required answer. Let us find out the <coughs> y11. To find out the y11, what are the condition for this one is the <coughs> y11 equal to i1 by v1. Y1 condition can say i1 by v1 what is the v2 equals to 0 v2 equal to 0 <coughs> short circuit short circuit input advance then for this particular example the example may v2 is a short circuited this part is a short circuited now across this one across this one we connected the v1 source across this one we connected the v1 source Okay, for this example, if it is short circuited, short circuit and this 1 by 2 both are in the panel. Example may short circuit 1 by 2 both are in the panel. Then what the equivalent distance becomes a 0. Equivalent distance becomes a 0. Then if you develop the simplified figure.
we can handle this. <coughs> now this uh, short circuit, short circuit means what are the equivalent distance is the zero. Equivalent distance is the zero. Now correspond to input side, correspond to input side voltage is the V1 and the current is the I1. With respect to port network, with respect to port network, both are the both currents are the entering. The question is that we need the ratio of what is our requirement with the ratio of I1 by V1. We need the ratio of I1 by V1. <coughs> Let's check it out. Now correspond this example. Correspond this example. If you observe carefully, this current source branch is common for the two meshes. When the current source branch is common for the two meshes, we go for the super mesh technique. We can use the application of the super mesh technique. With respect to super mesh technique, equation is combinedly developed. <coughs> the equation is combinedly developed for the mesh 1 and the mesh 2, excluding current source. Excluding current source. If we write the combined equation, we write this in the V1, V1 equal to. <coughs> the for this example, what the resistance is the how much? 1 by 2. I1 by 2. We are writing equation in the clockwise direction, but I2 in the opposite direction. I2 in the opposite direction. Opposite direction is that is minus minus I2. We got the equation one. <coughs> equation one. Come to the next one. Okay, now correspond super mesh. Now focus on the current source. For this example, I1 is the downwards, but the I2 is also downwards. Because it is circulating in this loop current is the I2. This loop current is the I1. This loop current is the I1. This I1 is a downwards, I2 also downwards. Then we can write this as a I1 plus I2. This I1 plus I2, I1 plus I2 equal to 2V1. I1 plus I2 equal to 2V1. If you rearrange this equation, if you rearrange this equation, we write this as I2 equal to I2 equal to 2V1 minus I1. 2V1 minus I1. <coughs> that means here in this example here, in this example, what is our requirement is a I1 by <coughs> I1 and V1 relation. The Koji equation one may I1 V1 relation Nikal Nikile. We have to eliminate the I2 value. We have to eliminate the I2 value. Now in place of I2, <coughs> in place of I2, now we can substitute this one. If you substitute here, we write this way 2 V1. We can write like this. This value, this value is substituted here. This minus, minus, minus value becomes a plus, minus 2 even. If you rearrange this equation, <coughs> if you rearrange this equation, we get this for the 3 V1, we get this for the 3 I1 by 2, 3 I1 by 2. Now finally, what is our requirement is a I1 by V1. <coughs> what are the requirements? I1 by V1. Now can you cancel these two terms? If you rearrange this equation, but the I1 by V1 is equal to 2. That means Y11, Y11 is equal to 2. Up check karing. Option may which one is supporting. The goji either given options may given options may either Y11 kitna 8 by 3, that to 0 hai minus 2 by 3. Which one supporting here? Last one. That means especially in the two-port network, whenever they ask the all the four parameters, focus on the given options. From the options, if you solve the problem, you can save the time in exam. Okay. Hmm. Dear students, <coughs> whenever you are solving the problems, one of the important points is uh, concentrate on the given units carefully. If you come to a resistor, neto inductor, capacitor, voltage sources, neto current source, you want to data may be given in terms of ohms, neto milli ohms, neto kilo ohms, neto milli farad, pico farad, nano farad. So units ke open thoda focus kare ji. Try to avoid the simple calculation mistakes. Okay. Okay, dear students, wish you all the best. Keep always positive mindset.